They should have never showed Hee Haw. They should have banned that show. That show was horrible. Mm-hmm. It's like Duck Dynasty. They need to ban that show. That show is horrible. That yeah. Honey Boo Boo. It's like only. It's like it's horrible stuff, man. It's like really, people watching that, that Real Housewives. They need to ban that too, man. It's people who couldn't do nothing with their life. Get on TV, talk about they got all this and that, and it's like. You got all this and that. Why do you rent your house out there in the cesspool of America? Well, I don't know. You know, your shirt's a little short. Well, I'm going to get in shape, guys. Y'all need to get in shape with me. Mm-hmm. Anybody want to be my rub down artist after my workouts? Uh huh. You know, thought I'd ask. You nice know, try. Never hurts to ask, you know. Yeah. If you don't like what I got to say, just get on your knees and speak into the microphone. <laughs> mm-hmm. Somebody says round is a shape. <laughs> round is a shape. Yeah. But remember, man, dynamite comes in small packages. Uh-huh. Wink, wink. They don't call me the Latin blind lover for nothing. Normally I'm John, but in my slow time I'm Juan. I go by Jackie. You know? Mm. Where'd you get your fir- shirt from? What's it say? Pittsburgh. Uh, Lorraine uh, had a wild affair with a homeless man from Pittsburgh. He gave her the shirt, you know? Okay, good and She gave know. it to me. Now, I need to keep mm-hmm. Lorraine in her parish. She's really sick right now. You know, I need to collect up some money for her medicine. Her medicine ain't cheap. It's about $250,000. Uh-huh. I'll just cough up some cash for Lorraine's medicine. She's very sick right now. She says she doesn't know what to do without being on here. She says Wendy won't let her come on. Uh. You know. It's just sad. Well, Evidently you've made a disgusting comment, but somebody can't spell disgusting, so... <laughs> Well, maybe you need to get on your knees and speak into the microphone. Oh, don't st- I'm not really? saying nothing wrong. What? We didn't get banned, did we? No, but you're working on it, and I don't know why you keep saying that. That's just that's a vile thing to say, and you just keep saying it over and over. I, wait, 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 wait. And I keep ignoring it, but the whole world keeps calling attention to it, and you just keep gone doing it. <laughs> well, come on, have some fun, man. What did I tell you this morning? It's not fun when they keep pointing it out over and over and over. <laughs> I think it's fun. And you need to think it's fun. You work for me, baby. I do not. You work for me. <laughs> we work for Lizzie, damn it. What are you talking about? Uh-huh. Lizzie runs this show. That's right. Don't you ever forget it. Jeez. You know, we ought to get Lizzie a little chauffeur's hat, you know? You get the little things cut out so you can put over her ears uh-huh. and walk around. Huh? Yeah. She be like, yeah. She's sleeping right now. Leave her alone. She's a... She's had a hard day food mooching. Mm-hmm. So I'm a professional food moocher. You leave it in front of me, I want to jump and get it, and ain't nothing you can do about it. She said... Can't... That's called being a professional food stealer. Get it right. Oh, is that what you said or they said? No, that's what I said. Well. Uh-huh. But I love her. She's my baby. Mm -hmm. You know? Who are you? Where are you from? And what are you looking for? Huh? Well. Never mind. (laughs) What are you looking for? Tall, dark, and handsome? No. Not tall, fat, and blind. <laughs> I was going to speak to them, speak for them, but... <laughs> what did they say? No, I was going... Never mind. They all want Fred, don't they? Mm-hmm. Fred. Fred, go out with you for a six-pack of bush. Mm-hmm. That's fact. Yeah. You don't think they're headed to Opry Mills Mall to save the Hagen dust people, are you? I, I doubt it. I doubt it. See, we don't have too much riffraff at the Clarksville Mall. Well, there's not much in the 
The there first is. Real they mall. got that stinky guy at the calendar shop. Uh-huh. I ain't took a shower in 30 friggin' years. Yeah. The greasy hair. Ooh, yeah, he got more grease on. Mm. Ooh, yeah, it looked like he just got through it working at a grease shop. Yeah. And then he stunk so bad. I was like, dude. Mm-hmm. I'm like, dude, don't you believe in sharing, you know? But mm. she was oh, God. And we got through it and said, we're done. He had long hair and it's just like, dude. Mm-hmm. What you need to do is you need to go and get you a pair of clippers and just shave all that off, dude. Huh? Well, I don't think he's going to see it your way. Well, you smell like shit, man. Maybe you should. Well, I don't know what to tell man, you about nasty, that. that's nasty, man. That's just yucky. Oh, God. That's like meeting somebody first time for a date, you know, and they smell like crap. You're just like, oh, I'm good. Well, I don't huh? know what to tell you about that. We got anybody say anything? Mm. Hey, Meg, how's your boy doing after he broke his arm? I don't know that she's on here. I haven't seen her yet. Anybody cool on there we know? Mm. The regular cast of Violators? Mm-hmm. We call our... Our, our kinship, the violators. Yeah. They're like us. They just want to violate. You know what I mean? Yeah. Alexa, what time is it? It's 8.06 p.m. Alexa, set a timer for 14 minutes. 14 minutes, starting now. Oh. Y'all been bad, bad, bad. Y'all ain't been buying nothing. Naughty, naughty, naughty. I just got done with Christmas. They're not going to buy anything now. Hey, I'll tell them when to buy. Don't be sitting there acting like you're their advocate. Uh-huh. They got Christmas money burning a hole in their pocket. Yeah. You can't go to Opry Mills and buy nothing. It's shut down right now. Come see us, man. You won't get uh-huh. punched at the haagen over that $12 ice cream cone. Huh? <laughs> We've been violent free since I don't know when. We've been violent free? Violent free, baby. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you can't get hurt going on our website. Yeah. You know, it costs nothing to look. Yeah. And we're always open and you can't get hurt. How do you feel about that poor little lady buying that $12 ice cream crumb getting punched? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have been, I'd been running. I go, ah, there's a gun but on the loose. I would have just hid behind you. And then I would have said, simpletreasureforsale.com, links in the bio. Huh? Mm-hmm. You know, buy early, buy often. What do you know, man? Simpletreasureforsale.com, baby. That's where it's at, baby. Uh-huh. You need to get some of that smell good on you. You're not smelling so good. You little simple treasure for sale, baby. Buy early, buy often. That's why I tell the news lady. Mm-hmm. Somebody, somebody had to get a fifteen hundred dollar water heater. What? Somebody had to get a fifteen hundred dollar water heater. That's why you need to get that home warranty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just don't go to his and hers plumbing. Those guys are assholes. Mm-hmm. If you're gonna go to a good plumber, go down and see uh, Noel mm-hmm. at Genesis Plumbing. Tell him to send you Cedric out there. Just tell him not to forget the keys, man. Mm-hmm. Home warranty is a joke. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I can't complain, can you? Mm-mm. I got a hot water heater and a new washer. For 80 bucks? For 80 bucks. Mm-hmm. I don't know about you, huh? Hey? Yep. If you're looking for a house in the greater Clarksville area, go see Carla. She'll get you taken care of. Yep. Just don't try to follow behind her. She's speed racer. That's true. Well, she's driving a BMW. She's doing something right. Evidently, I'm pleasant at lunch, but I'm not pleasant now. Yeah, I do have a way of bringing people down to reality. Uh I thank you for that comment. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a big man. Yeah, I just, I just, I just popped a balloon on everybody. Yeah. Fifteen hundred dollar water heater. So that means you're not gonna buy anything from us. 
That'd be correct. Oh. Well, hey. Like I told, man, what y'all need to do, man. Mm -hmm. You know, this cold season coming up, you got germ magnets called kids around you. Then you get you a bandolier of friggin' a bandolier of friggin' pocket vax. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm-mm. You know, get your I act like I hate these lives. Oh, you do? Mm-hmm. Oh, you do, man. Well, I can tell you what I hate. <laughs> they won't like the answer. The shitheads? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Just remember, Wendy. It's all right. They're not, you know. Mm. You know what I like? I like little baby ducks. Mm -hmm. Emery in a bike, you know, Lizzie in a biker hat. My nephew riding trucks mm -hmm. and rain. I love haters when they hate, lovers when they mm -hmm. love, people when they buy stuff or simple treasures for sale dot com. Links in the bio. But none of these comments are rude. They're just constructive criticism. Yeah. And then when I call y'all dirty names, y'all run to TikTok for mm -hmm. protection and we get banned. So yeah. you tell me, I don't understand it. So you can say whatever you want. But if I say something hateful, well, y'all get hide behind that TikTok button. But like I say, you're just jealous because our business rocks and you don't. Mm -hmm. You're jealous because we have a nice house. You live in your parents' basement. All right, let's not go too far. I don't know. You're just jealous we have the most beautiful dog in the world. Yeah. What lotions do you have new? Do you know the answer to that? We have warm vanilla sugar. Sugar, sugar. We have luminous. Luminous. Wild sands. Wild sands. Uh, we have Victoria's Secret bombshell OUD. Bombshell Owie. So that's just to name a few. You go to link those simple treasures for sale. Get you about four or five of them. Put the code word elf in. Get you taken care of, man. Can't uh, beat that. You know where I want to go? What? I want to go disco dancing. I want to break out my bell bottoms or my leisure suit. Well, I was going to bring out the disco ball for New Year's Eve. Cool. The New Year's <laughs> Eve party. You guys are invited, baby. So. Just go over to Cumberland Mansion in Yukon, Oklahoma and knock on the door. Ask for Chris D. You're invited. Uh-huh. Have you been on a cruise? No, I've not. That does sound fun, man. Man, the food on a cruise is to fucking die for, man. Hmm. They have midnight buffets. <coughs> I know what cruise I want to go on. The Swingers Cruise! No, stop it. See, why do you gotta... <laughs> what cruise do you want to go on? I want to go on... The New Kids on the Block cruise. <laughs> That's worse than the Swingers cruise. You yeah. too can be around millions and millions of worthless douchebags on the New Kids on the Block tour. Oh. Guys who were never any good in the first place. Mm -hmm. You can go, whoa, you really sick. You know, Joey McIntyre, mm -hmm. man, he's selling, he's selling his, he's selling himself, man. Uh-huh. Oh my God! You went on that cruise, man. I'd be long gone. I'd be like, mm -hmm. "Make that go." You were lame. You're lame. You're lame. You know. Da 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 da. You know. Mm -hmm. Twenty twenty four. We Skype. You know. Mm -hmm. Poor Wendy needs help. She needs real help. Mm -hmm. 
You know? She needs help, man. You're sick, Wendy. You're a sick woman. Are you from Oklahoma? Yes. Yeah. Are you from Oklahoma is a question to ask. I'm not, but this person is. Where are they from? I don't know. Your tummy's showing. Huh? Your tummy's showing. I knew you were going to do that. My belly welly! Um, Yukon. No way. Mm-hmm. Hey, did you ever go swimming at the Moose Lodge? Do you know where Askew Fabrications mm-hmm. is at? Did you ever go swimming at the Moose Lodge? Mm-hmm. I have a question. Can you answer it for me? Were ran- behind Ranchwood Elementary, that housing addition, there was that field, and there was the mansions. Did they ever build any houses there? Mm-hmm. Mm. They still have that Ken's Pizza next to the Bronze, but in front of Briarwood Apartments. Mm. I like Ken's mm-hmm. Pizza, but Ken's became Mazio's, and Mazio's is really good. If you play your cards out and we go see Mr. M., Mm-hmm. He's a good man. He is a good man. Huh? Bartlesville, Oklahoma. Bartlesville? Uh-huh. Um, yep. I know where you were talking about. I'm cracking up. Smart World. No Ken's Pizza. Oh. Uh, is the Brom mm-hmm. still there next to the daycare? Because it'll be the Brahms right there. Behind the Brahms, like a little field. Then there's like the mm-hmm. townhomes for uh, Charlotte, Maine apartments. Because Charlotte, Maine's right there. And then right behind there is where Scott Norris used to live. I don't understand why he lived there. His family put a house up with a dome. Mm-hmm. I got family in no water. Does that count? Yeah. They used to have Schneider's IGA. Then they redone the bowling alley and made it bigger. Uh, and she says yes. To what? I'm not sure. Yes to what? Where the Brahms is? Is the Brahms still open? Because you got to take that road right there to go straight down because you got... What it, what it is is like it goes Ken's Pizza, Briarwood, the church, then the start of the housing mm-hmm. addition. Across the streets, the start of the housing addition where Scott Norris used to live. And you go straight down that road and you go to Ranchwood Elementary. Somebody says I have family in no water. <laughs> so do I. Uh-huh. He just got a drum kit, man. Yes. Uh, the Brahms is still there. Mm, cool. Is Askew Fabrication still there? Right, up, right, across almost, right across the street, pretty much, next to the car dealership? Ranchwood Elementary is still there. I knew that. What's, uh, ask her what Schneider's IGA is now. I'll be right back, guys. Where are you going? I'm going to get a pincher. Mm. I'm going to take me my man, 1975. Really? Oh, come on. Have a sense of humor, man. You knew what you were getting to when you went to that duplex woman. Uh-huh. You were like, Lord have mercy. Well, now he's gone. Now I'm supposed to talk now. I'm tired. So there still is free shipping. Code is ELF. So Lizzie unwrapped her busy bone yesterday and has not chewed on it. She has one more package to unwrap it. So tomorrow I'm going to pack up the tree and stuff. So. Let's go to Kimball's pool. 
So I've not had time to go to any sales yet. No. And right now, Opera Mills is shut down. To my Yukon brethren, they still got Kimball's Pool. I used to go out that high dive going, hoo boo gah, hoo boo gah. You know? I had my Speedo on, and I was looking good. Huh? Okay, I lied. I didn't wear a Speedo. Thank goodness. But I did see a black dude at Whitewater's one time with a Speedo. Uh -huh. I was like, cool, dude. Uh -huh. Yeah. He actually looked good in it, man. Then my buddy turned around and said, you look like Ricky Schroeder. I said, thank you. So the code is ELF. E-L-F. Mm-hmm. Anything over $25. <coughs> yeah. Lexus, stop. Anything over $25. Make yes. you holla. Yes. Simple treasures love you long time. Mm, 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 mm. All right, was that our cue we're getting off? I'll answer a few more questions. You'll answer a few more questions? I will answer a few more questions to my Jew in public. Viewing public, I'm sorry. Viewing. No. Oh, Lord. You always knew when a pool was shut down as they were starting at the beginning of football practice. You know, in fourth grade, guys, when I was at Ranchwood Elementary, you know where they took me for a field trip? The newspaper. Hmm. And then I seen a video on the go, got the first seeing eye dog. I was like, what the pudge, Nichols? Hmm. You guys should get out in order, man. You bought that $1,500 water eater if you're a woman? You want some hot guy to come over and take you out for a swinging good time? We got the products to make you smell good. Isn't that right, Wendy Lee? Yeah. What are you wearing that products when you went over and met that blind man in Madison? Yeah. That's the worst mistake you ever made in your life, wasn't it? Well, you know. <laughs> you cursed the day you came in my house. You were like, blind daddy. Blind daddy. Okay, stop now. <laughs> Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. When you get mad, what are you known as? The stomper. I just don't understand why these people have too many, so many fucking things to do to make so many fucking accounts. I just, I don't get it. They love you, Wendy. I mean, they just don't have enough shit to do. They love you, Wendy. If they didn't love you, they wouldn't come on and say these horrible things about you. They love uh -huh. you. <laughs> I got news for you. They ain't only saying horrible things about me. What are they saying about me? Please tell me. Shit. I'm fat. I'm blind. I'm, re I'm whatever. Well, here, you're a hot mess tonight. I'm having fun. Mm. Are we all here to have fun? This ain't to friggin' meet the press or friggin' face the nation, man. This is to have fun. If you think, oh my God. You don't watch Judge Judy for the friggin' uh, being a judge. You watch it for the drama. Huh? Come on, guys. Have some fun. Mm. Do you think you could eat a whole bomb's banana split, Wendy? I have no idea. I think you can. Mm. What do you like on your pizza? If it's just you getting a pizza. If it's oh. just a Wendy Lee special. I like barbecue chicken pizza. No, okay. Yeah, I'll do it for me. I've had it. It's got onions in it. I'm not big on onions. Mm. Hmm? Yeah. Not my thing. Now, if I could eat meat, man, I'd have me a Supreme. Mm. All that. But, man, Domino's is greasy. You know they have a Chicken Supreme, right? They do? Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Yep. Mm. Why do I get that sometime? <coughs> mm. Best breadsticks, Little Caesars. Mm-hmm. I like Mazio's. I got 
keep uh, dipping there. I'll fix that cough. Yeah, yeah, well. These people are worried about me. They need to donate money to my medical bills. Mm -hmm. man. It gets hard sometimes when you're running with that little woman, Lizzie. She's like, I just wish she could catch a frisbee, man. That would be awesome. So tell me a little bit about yourself, guys. Even the haters, just have a heart. Be simple. Mm -hmm. We love you, too. You know you want to be like us. You want to party with us. That's why you create all the fake accounts, because you want to be with us. I just... And we thank you for that, because you know what? We just keep giving it to you, you know what I mean? When is going to be new and improved in 2024, baby? That's right. The new and improved Wendy Lee is coming out, baby. Mm -hmm. She told each and every one of you suckers, Wendy Lee is on top and you're on bottom. Yeah. You guys, can mm -hmm. just, we can all be happy. Ding, 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 ding. Alexa, set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Starting now. Once this timer goes off, we ain't got no sales, man. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just sad. Well, it's not going to do any good to get any sales because we can't send it out anyway. At least we told them that before we took their money. Well, then... That's called us being freaking good business people. Because mm -hmm. we don't want to be on Judge Judy. Or the people's court. <laughs> oh, I do see a courtroom in this. <laughs> In one of our future. <laughs> what, the Montgomery County courtroom? Probably. Well, you know, man, Lorraine and Cheryl. For assault and battery or murder. One of the two. <laughs> hey, but you know what's so, you know what's so great? Uh-huh. The, the, the Tennessee Pit Women's Prison is just right down the road in Nashville, so Lorraine and Cheryl could come see you on Sunday to do your Bible studies. And Lorraine goes, ooh, you could do crafts all day. Huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then that with me, man. They might quit you and have a party. Then uh, you can wear you some nice sandals. They know you as Big Wendy down there at the prison. Big Wendy. Get your big old butterfly tattooed on your chest. They get John tattooed on your neck. It's the man I used to love. He drove me crazy. Mm -hmm. That's why I did it. Huh? Just have John blasted right there. Have a big butterfly on your chest. So we can't ship out because we don't have labels to print on. And they're coming Friday. Yeah, so if you do buy something, we won't let you know that in advance. So we're all sitting here shucking a jive and chopping it up. But on a serious note, we don't have the labels. So, you know, I won't, you know, we just had to get... We had to make one to send to the person in Connecticut we got shipped out today. Mm -hmm. You know, we felt really bad that we couldn't get it in the mail Tuesday to them. You know, because, you know, you buy something, we want to put that in the mail sooner than later. You work hard for your money, and we want you to get what you mm -hmm. deserve. And that's one thing that we've been, since, we, since we've come to Clarksville and took the business, that's one thing we've been good about, not holding on orders. Yes. And that's something we've been very proud of, you know. Can't you just write the name and address on the package? Not when, not when you pay for shipping. Prepay. Yeah. Not when you prepay for your shipping. Sounds great in theory, but it's just not going to happen. You know, I understand. Mm hmm You know, but you're going to get your stuff. Yeah. It's just we don't want you to think, well, I ordered something. I ain't even got a shipping label, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, hey, you know. But some people, you know, they've been burnt, you know, they've been burned on online people, you know, and we don't want to be those people. Right. We don't, you know, we try to ship everything out next day, that night or that morning. There's sometimes she'll get an order that night and then fill it in the morning when she, when she wakes uh -huh. up. And all this, man, the team logistics will walk it to the mailbox. They do have a hobby. I don't think being an asshole is a hobby. It's just who you are. 
I know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, I'm not saying you. Oh, but you I are. I know so. you are. It's all right. I don't care they make 50 million profiles. I don't. Hey, I've been called a whole lot worse in my life. And those were, and those were by people who got paid a lot of money to call me that. Yeah. Those are our educators of America. They failed me worldly. Strange. And I just don't. This one person tonight, it has to be the same person because they're all the same thing, has made at least six accounts that I've blocked tonight. Can you go for ten? I mean, it should. Can it's you go ridiculous. for ten? I don't. I don't think you got the guts if you can't make ten of them up. Make Wendy do a little work tonight. You know, if you made six accounts, you ought to come in and order six different times and get six different packages delivered to your house. Huh? I mean, you can't, Wendy. They love you. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh, Wendy, stop it. Dun, dun, dun. Anybody got any legit questions for us? So, I've not gotten an email. So, I... And I haven't gotten anything returned still. Guys, you gotta... You know... Is that the same person who keeps saying they get, they didn't get their package? Well, something about, and I know at one point they did email me or DM, DM me. I would DM me instead of email me. But, um, about for some reason the the package was sent back to us, but we've not received anything back. No, we were, we were. Because trust me, I would have issued a refund on the spot had it received something back. Yeah. Why won't you respond to email? I never said I wouldn't respond to emails. It's just easier to I respond. said it's easier to DM instead of emails. When you get five, when you have five separate email accounts and they're all coming, emails are all coming through and some of them are going to trash. It's a whole lot easier. Just it's to a DM. whole lot easier to DM me. Just like Carrie, our blue blood out of Connecticut. Uh, she DMs us when she has a problem and guess what? It gets taken care of. You know? <laughs> yeah, I know one person... <laughs> I know one person just picked up the telephone and called. That was a big... Alright. Have a good night. Good night.